today is Friday, May 4, 2017. This 27 month old hamster came in with a large earwort. According to the owner, it only happens in the last four weeks. And uh, you can see the wart. Oh, 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 oh. The wart turned turn upside down. Okay. The, the other ear, there's only on the right ear, up the left ear. Just put on the on below will do yeah. The left ear. The left ear. This is the right ear. Oh. I think you gotta wear you gotta hold properly because you don't hold properly. The, this is right ear, so the hamster has been scratching his right ear, the hair is lost. Now I'm gonna see the left ear. The left ear. The left ear sees any warts or not? To do the light. Any warts? Let me check. The left ear is clean, there's no warts. So this hamster is 27 months old. Okay, let go. And the owner has to decide whether to operate or not because I have to remove the whole ear. Because the, the wart is already grown in, into the whole ear. So now, you cannot, the, the owner knows that there's no more ear after surgery. So now, we are going to put the hamster into the container. Be careful, don't let the hamster bite you here. Yeah. And uh, I switch on the gas anesthetic, oxygen, and uh, at five percent isoflurane. Once down, I will use electrosurgery. Electrosurgery to cut here, yeah. to cut off the ear, and uh, the whole process actually doesn't take long. It takes less than two minutes. Take away everything. Take away everything so that it looks uh, neat here yeah, for surgery. So now we have to make sure the hamster is sleep first. In the, the gas slips down first. It's seven, 27 months old, so normal lifespan is up to 30 months. So there's seven months. So normally you place the hamsters there and then to do the cleaning first. But gotta be very fast because he'll wake up again. You can see the tumor has gone into the gone into the whole ear ear flap. Yeah. So already in case the hamster wake up here. Yeah. So it's it's, it's a, a clean up first. Fourth of May 2017. Yeah, this hamster 27 old now is anesthetized by isoflurane gas less than uh, half a minute and it's down already so so we, we already clean up already we can't shave because it's a bit difficult to shave so now i'm going to see whether it's really asleep or not if it's not asleep then i can't do now it's waking up again i just see you see this this tumor actually is more than it's not a year what is tumor, so the surgery will be here. So now I have to put back again. Come. Now the nurse must wear gloves because sometimes get bitten. Okay, a bit of more gas first. So, so see whether it moves or not. It's still moving. So it turn, turn, and then see the hamster moving. Or once it stop moving, then uh, there will be the right time to to cut. And ready. So it's moving. Uh, it has to be very careful because this five percent that show five percent. Five percent is a very deep. Okay, bring it out here and uh, place the position properly and uh, don't touch the table. Now, as you can see, the whole thing is really a tumor rather than an ear wart. So clean it clear yeah. So let's see whether come swap swap swap. swap. See whether there's any more left or not. We use the gauze to swap it. Just just swap. Just swap with the blood there. 
So we put it back for anesthetic again, anesthetic in again, because it's waking up there. So we, we put back for gas again. Then I need to stitch up most of the way. So it looks like it's quite big, quite a big area. And uh, so, so I'll get ready to stitch in. So once it's sleep, take out the don't, uh, don't, uh, I mean, Wait until he is too deep, uh, too deep is dangerous. Take up, take up, take up. Take up. You might have to see. Take up. Uh. So swap there. The nurse must know what to do, huh? She must know what to do. Must know what to do. Swap. Swap away the bleeding. Clear the blood, clear the blood. Put, put back in if it's waking up. Is it waking up? There seems to be some abscess. Just focus on this, just focus on this. Otherwise, the thing will be blur. No, just focus on this. The complaint is it's a blur, the whole thing. So I clear the some parts, I think those are the parts. Let's see that. Okay, so the answer is still sleeping. So I can uh, start to stitch up. Okay, put it back, put it back, and let's take it, and let's take it. Once you get up, we, we just put it in again. Uh, less than a few seconds, uh, not, not too long. So make sure you have enough, of course. Yeah. Few seconds, really few seconds. Yeah, just put it back here again. Yeah. Then try and wipe away the blood. Wet, wet, wet this, then wipe, wipe away the blood. Uh. Okay, so there's an opening here, so I have to stitch up. Okay, so it's four zero. I use a four zero. Okay, put back again. It's gonna wake up again because we don't want the hamster to feel the pain. So it's on and off. Come up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pick up. Huh? This four zero is a sutures absorbable. And uh, position properly. Now the it's a bit of bleeding, but this will stop after suturing. Huh? If the if the tumor is smaller, they don't need to stitch, but it's quite big. Huh? Put in again, in again. Yeah. Yeah. Count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, up again. You don't need to be so deep. Yeah. Just hold, 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 hold the back side. Oh, I just need the. Okay, put in again. Count again. Ten. 
Because this is a very old hamster, it's like a very old, old man, so it's better not to let him die from uh, anesthetic. Which is not so happy, the owner will not be so happy. Uh, just be careful. Okay. I think guess again, guess again. One. Put the nose there, yeah, to get into the nose. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, put it here on top. Second. Swap again. Swap so that the, I can see the wound. So let's maybe finish it. Afterwards, we will clean up the blood, but uh, we can we can do it now better. But if not, maybe we'll wait. We're gonna wake up soon. Yeah. This this stitches will dissolve. Okay, finish. Just try and clean up the blood without being bitten. Then where is the container? You forgot to bring container. show the lump. This is really a terrible infected tumor. It's a fast growing tumor so it could be ear, ear, ear cancer due to the old age. You see this tumor is about uh, quite quite a long one. But there's a ear, ear and the tumor is there. It's infected with pimples, abscesses. So this is not a what. It's not a real what. It's a, it's a cancerous lump. Okay. Today is May five two zero one seven, the Friday. This is eighteen hours after I removed the right ear with a tumor from. Hold the hamster glove from this uh, twenty-seven month old. Dwarf hamster, much loved by the family. They were wondering whether it's worth doing the surgery since he is 27 months old, but uh, they decided to do it. Okay, just my assistant will show the site, the wound where I have uh, removed the. Just turn a bit uh, to the side, not the put on the. Just turn it. You can see the ear is gone, uh, but you can see the stitches. The stitches will be where the uh, board area is and uh, of course there's no more ear here the ear is uh, full of a tumor so I use electricity to cut off the whole ear which includes part of the side so that's why it needs stitching and there's no more bleeding okay up and down right let me, let me take a photo one more time just sideways this hamster doesn't bite I hope so I wish you wear gloves so that side, side, side way, yeah? okay. Now I focus it and click a picture. This hamster will be earless on the on the left ear and uh, but overall this 27 month old hamster can at least live longer after removal of the tumor. It might be a malignant cancerous one. Uh, it might not have spread or might have spread around the skin. So hamster lives up to 30 months, no, no 36 months max. So it's 27 months old, so should be having some good life without the tumor to cause irritation and itchiness. 
this way you saw the hair loss around the area due to scratching. So go home today, really.